stressed for so long, so stuck in my own way. So I'll enjoy this moment. It's the day that the Lord has made. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and cleaning with me today. So in this video, we have a lot of fun um, cleaning motivation. I am in the season of contentment. So that just means I am decluttering, organizing, and just being content with what I have and not requiring more. So if you are also in that season, I hope that this video will bring you all the motivation you need to get going. So grab your coffee, grab your tea, grab your broom, whatever it is that you are needing right now, and let's get cleaning. Open up the mess, drop it in the water, let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe, spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind, hold her hand, and don't believe a lie, you understand me. Walking down the valley, pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet. Teach you how to jump and how to stretch. In this video, we are getting ready for the holiday rush, holiday cleaning, and holiday guests. I will be the first one to let you know that I am not much of a deep cleaner, but here in this video, you will see me do a little bit more than what I would usually do when it comes to cleaning. We are in the guest room that is also the room my baby sleeps in. It was intended for my oldest, but as you can see, Later on in this cleaning, you will see that he is not quite ready to be in this room. So we are just going to declutter, organize, and fix up his drawers and the beds that are in here. Train her feet for running. Show her every door and how the windows let the sun in. Copy out the key and tell her this is for becoming. Even in the fever, baby, cry and get to running. And tell her that you better get your bootstraps up. You're with the army. Ready when the truth act up, nothing can harm me. Yelling from the roof, I touch, put up a guard and count to ten. Lion's den, speaking with the higher pen. Can't be touched by fire, then. Fast forward to the grown things now. I'm working on them soul things now. Forgiving all your old ways. But it's harder on the cold day. Never been a product of a flawless environment. Never acted like I'm higher than you. This room has always been like a catch all for baby items. So I just cleaned off that cart, and my son is one. And on that cart was a bunch of like newborn things and things that he required when he was first born. So as you can tell, it's kind of been a process um, organizing all of the baby baby items that we have in this house so far I think I am doing well with where we are I am trying to get rid of what we're not using and like I said be content with what we already have and making sure everybody is mentally and physically in an okay space because I noticed that with clutter my boys get a little crazy and I also do the same
can every me you will supply yeah when i'm a trouble i know you If you are new here, hi, welcome again. I'm Tatiana. I'm a mom of now three boys. They are um, 10, 5, and 1. And here on my channel, I put up a weekly clean and motivation. I am also a military wife, so as I travel through the season of motherhood, uh, being a wife and the military, I share. And so if you like that type pictures. of content, here. be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, leave me a comment down below letting me know that you're new, I love communicating and getting to know all of you. I wanna be good soon. I wanna be tried by fire. Purify. You take whatever you desire. Yeah. Your fire is consuming. Fill this place and set it up. We have a checklist home, so as much as I want to instill independence in my boys, I have to do it with a checklist because even cleaning out these drawers, we will have t-shirts in the same drawer as shorts. We will have very, very stained items. Um, I try to, well, my oldest does his laundry every Friday, but with that means I am responsible for coming behind him and making sure that everything is placed where it needs to be and it's not done in a lazy manner. We are currently going through a season of laziness with him, which is to be expected, but I am really trying to work with him and, you know, continue to give him that independence and that confidence that he can do hard things, even though they're not hard to me. I still have to see it as hard for him and one way I am able to do that is with checklists. So I just went through, decluttered, organized, and got rid of what was no longer serving him or things that I've never seen him wear and just placing the things that he does wear to just keep it a little bit more manageable for him. And also with my five-year-old, he is on the cleaner side of things, so he will fold and, you know, but he has to document everything which I allow him to do so whenever he does his laundry he always has his phone where he can take pictures of what he has folded what he has done because he loves praise and that is one way that I am helping him with his cleanliness I give my heart again Jesus I wanna go to God way close to your love again I give my heart again Jesus I know you know me well I feel invisible until you tell me you're right here I cancel plans with you to me with saying and break your heart Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are I wonder if you'll leave for me God, just tell me what you need for me Is the Holy Spirit still in me? God, I'm asking you for clarity Even though you told me already God told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, know that I'm someone, no, I'm a child of God.
the goal is to upload this on Christmas Eve so I hope that you and your family have an amazing holiday that it will bring you peace love and happiness also some self-reflection Finishing up this room here with a little vacuum and changing the bedding my little one wanted to help so we are just going to allow him to do that. Okay, so moving on to the boys room. If you are new here, I've already explained in another video why we have so many beds in this room. We have three boys, but we also always have guests over. So in this video, I am preparing for those guests. We will have every bed filled like we usually do. And this is what it looks like after I come in this room. Um, the week before so I do come in here weekly once a week to give the room a pickup or a much needed clean this is usually what it looks like when my boys are you know doing everything that they need to do everything that's on their checklist and you know they are feeling good are in a good mood then we usually have good results with the cleanliness of the room so I'm just going to I did 
um, carpet wash this floor and wipe down the furniture. I don't know where that footage is at the moment. If I can find it, I'll, of course, I will include it. But yeah, I just wiped down all the surfaces in here. The mixture that I am using to clean these rooms, I don't know what it actually is, but I do know it has vinegar in it and whatever else. I don't know because my husband made it, but it works pretty well on these surfaces. We are finishing this room with some vacuuming now I know you see in the corner over there where the book um, the little book nook is or whatever you want to call it um, I did not pick those things up because the books were everywhere which meant whoever did that had to pick it up because if I you know came here before and I cleaned it all up the books should not be scattered that way so that is their responsibility to pick up relationship I love seeing a bunch of clean clothes but I do not fold once they come out of the machine sometimes and I do three four five loads and they will just sit around until I am completely ready to get get it all sorted and put away <laughs>
chopping up the mess. Okay, so moving on to the toy room. This is something new in my home. If you've been here before or you've seen um, another video of mine, then you know that upstairs I did have a toy room for them where I, you know, just made it all inclusive, like learning area. It was much bigger than this. But as the boys get older, they are no longer really interested in toys. So that is why we are decluttering, organizing, and just, you know, fixing up everything in a manner that they would be willing to play with something if they need it. I did remove so much out of their toys. And for Christmas this year, I did not remove to replace. So we don't have many toys for them this year. They are outside boys, so they have things that they can use outside. Train her feet for running. Show her every door and how the windows let the sun in. Copy out the key and tell her this is for becoming. Even in the fever, baby, cry and get to running. And tell her that you better get your bootstraps up. You're with the army. Ready when the truth act up, nothing can harm me. Yelling from the roof, I touch, put up a guard and count to ten. Lion's den, speaking with the higher pen. Can't be touched by fire then. Fast forward to the grown things now. I'm working on them soul things now. Forgiving all your own. Cleaning this toy room was an absolute disaster, but it was definitely much needed, as you can see. Um, I tried to be inclusive and include the boys in the decluttering process of this, but it kind of backfired on me. It took me days to get this room to an okay state. I did, like I mentioned, take out a lot of stuff from here, but to include them, it was just... It was just making it way harder than it needed to be. I have been really good this year with decluttering my home. Although I am not where I want to be, I realized that we've been here for four years and I've never gotten rid of stuff like, you know, in a large capacity. I've just been bringing them in. So this year, I don't know if it was because it was a crazy year, but I was just on a mission to declutter as much as I could and also for the fact that I don't know how much longer we're going to be in this house. Thank you so much for watching this video today. It is coming to an end and as the year winds down, we are decluttering and organizing, getting rid of old things so we can make way for God to bring in the new things that he desires for our life. Um, okay. Uh. So be sure to leave me some purple hearts in the comments. Also, if you are new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you a part of my family. Happy holidays, and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.